Hello everyone, today we will see some basic terms which you will come across while studying this subject microprocessor and microcontroller. Let us check first uh, term uh, that is your microcomputer system. Okay, so microcomputer system is nothing but all the circuits which are put together along with your microprocessor. This is called as microcomputer system as we have seen microcomputer system. And then next one is your hardware. So uh, some physical components are present in your microcomputer system. This is called as hardware. And uh, how you operate through this hardware is called as software. That is this is nothing but the basically a program which makes this hardware useful or you can say operable is called as software. Then IC, next term is your IC. So IC is nothing but the integrated circuit. This is your, the full form of that IC. Or you can say the chip is a small thin piece of silicon with the required circuit and the transistor which are etched on it to perform particular function. Okay, so number of transistors are etched on a silicon base that is called as IC or as you can say simple processor uh, uh, can consist of few thousands of transistors or uh, recently the uh, your processor your Pentium processor comes with a million of transistors which are etched on a silicon base. Right. The next basic term is your bit. Okay, so bit is nothing but a single binary digit. Either it can be 0 or it can be 1 or you can say a fundamental uh, storage of unit is called as bit in computer system or uh, uh, a bit can have uh, this different values either it can have a value of 0 or it can have a value of 1 as you see in uh, digital electronics part uh, whereas in decimal digits can have 10 values which can be represented by 0 or uh, 0 or 0 through 9 or 0 1 2 3 likewise 9 up to 9 so it has 10 values whereas a bit has only two values either it can have value 0 or it can have value 1 uh, next is your uh, uh, next is your byte okay so byte is nothing but an 8 bit word referred to as byte so number of bits bit is nothing but a single binary digit and byte means nothing but 8 bit okay so 8 bits are there for example this is 1 0 1 0 0 1 0 1 these are the 8 bits are there referred as byte nibble nibble is nothing but a 4 bit word okay so what is word we will see it 4 bit word is referred as a nibble that is example 1 1 0 uh, sorry 1 1 1 1 okay these are the 4 bits are there and constituently this 4 bit group together is called as nibble here you can say that a byte can be of Two nibbles that is this is the first nibble and this is the second nibble uh, then kilobyte a collection of 1024 bytes is called as kilobytes okay collection of 1024 bytes is called as kilobyte megabyte is nothing but a collection of 1024 kilobyte okay so that is called as megabyte next we will talk about a bit size so bit size is nothing but uh, the number of bits that can be processed simultaneously is called as bit size and who is processing that simultaneously a microprocessor that is nothing but the arithmetic circuits of the microprocessor process this bits simultaneously okay so bit size refer to the number of bits that can be processed okay then word size you can say word is nothing but the, in microprocessor uh, number of bits grouped together as i told you number of bits grouped together is called as word in microprocessor the word uh, generally refers to the uh, basic uh, data size or basic bit size that can be processed by the ALU. Okay, this is what the word size. So next basic term is your RAM or you can say read or write memory. Okay, uh, so uh, random access memory, It uh, uh, RAM is reference to random access memory that is full form or you can say read or write memory is a type of semiconductor memory in which the, uh, uh, the particular memory locations can be erased okay and uh, it can be uh, you can write any new data on that particular location that is what your random access memory or read write memory and this memory units are volatile you can say volatile means whenever there is a power cut whatever the data is there whatever uh, locate content in that memory is uh, is there that will be erased okay and then uh, uh, next point is the access of that uh, of access of that ram can be done randomly so in microprocessor the ram is used to store the data so next one is your uh, dram that is dynamic random access memory 
ओके इट इज अगेन सेमी कंडक्टर मेमोरी इन विच स्टोर्ड स्टोर्ड कंटेंट नीड टू बी रिफ्रेस्ड रिपीटेडली अदरवाइज द स्टोर डेटा विल बी लॉस्ट ओके सो डी रैम इज प्रिफर्ड वेयर द कंप्यूटर वेयर इन कंप्यूटर सिस्टम बिकॉज ऑफ इट इज वेरी मच इकोनॉमिकल बट द ड्रॉबैक ऑफ डी रैम इज इट इज वेरी स्लोअर द नेक्स्ट वन इज योअर एस रैम दैट इज योअर स्टैटिक रैंडम एक्सेस मेमरी सो स्टैट ram or yes ram keeps the data stored in uh, in the memory as long as power is available okay but what is difference between dram and sram that in sram there is no need of refreshing but when we talk about again in terms of speed sram is faster okay then the next one is your rom that is a read only memory these are again semiconductor memories uh, 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 whose contents are retained or you can say available even after removing the power cut okay so you can say that this is your non volatile memory next term is your system bus so in system bus this is nothing but the group of signals used for communication between the uh, between the processor and the peripherals okay uh, and then firmware the next one is your firmware firmware is nothing but the uh, software which is written on the microprocessor without provision of any changes so there is no provision of change uh, uh, change in the software part that we call it as uh, uh, firmware okay so we cannot change the software after it is embedded in some of the hardware that is called as firmware so there are uh, stored uh, so these are the whatever the program is there or instructions are there they are stored in the permanent storage or you can say read only memory of the computer system next basic terms when we talk about the Uh, now we will talk about the computer architecture okay so computer architecture is nothing but uh, uh, there are two types of architectures basically uh, one is called as uh, von neumann architecture uh, which uses a same memory uh, for storing the program as well as data and second one is a hardware where the programs and data are stored separately this is what the pictorial diagrams i have sh shown you that Uh, in von neumann architecture your memory data and your code uh, is in the same memory whereas in hardware arch architecture there are two different memories are there so here only one cycle is required to uh, fetch the instruction whereas in this case two memory cycles are uh, two uh, clock cycles are required to fetch the instructions okay and uh, here you can say that instruction this this memories are different that is program memory and data memories are different so simultaneously it can uh, fetch instruction as well as it can uh, take the data here it is not possible okay in uh, von neumann architecture again uh, architecture based upon the instruction set of microprocessor and these are categorized in risk or you can say risk risk what is risk it is nothing but reduced instruction set computer so basically uh, this architecture is based upon the instruction set okay uh, whereas uh, if you have a reduced instruction and other type in other type you have complex instructions so what is risk risk so in a risk uh, uh, or you can say in a reduced instruction set computer it uses only a small set of uh, instructions of uniform length Uh, typically it can be of 32 bit instructions are there okay the next point is there are simple instructions okay which are generally executed in only one clock cycle then risk chips are relatively simple to design and it is inexpensive when we talk about the sys that is complex instruction set computer okay so large set of instructions with variable formats are used okay and typically the size of each instructions it can be of 16 to 64 bit per instructions okay and uh, you can say this is this is your the, what the complex instructions where the execution of any instructions depends upon the multiple clock cycles okay and uh, sys keys uh, sys chips are very complex as it is involves uh, complex instructions so sys is complex in compare to the risk risk is relatively simple in design you can say so thank you for watching this basic term uh, which you will come across